Do you know that Australia's overseas student visa criteria required a change? One of the most important issues the Migration System Review must address is the overseas student visa system and associated pathways to permanent residence. For detailed information watch this video till the end, and yes like and share the video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Warm welcome from Brain Drain Consultants to our Immigration Information and News Channel, a 2Z Immigration Updates. International education is one of Australia's largest export industries and in most years contributes around 40% to net overseas migration and around 25% of the annual migration program. Since the start of this year to end October 2022, student arrivals have exceeded student departures by 221,010. The number of student visa holders in Australia has increased from a low of 315,949 at end December 2021 to 424,793 at end October 2022. In October 2022, offshore student visa applications were 23,327, over 3,000 higher than the previous October record of 19,890 in October 2018. Department of Home Affairs, DHA, has expressed concerns it is seeing a substantial level of fraud in the caseload and has also been refusing large numbers of student applicants using the genuine temporary entrant criteria. As a result, visa grant rates have fallen dramatically. Overall offshore student grant rates have fallen from between 85% to 95% in the period November 2021 to August 2022 to 65% in September and 62% in October 2022. For major source countries like India, the decline in grant rates was the most severe by 36.3% in October 2022. But the biggest drop in grant rates so far was for private vet courses. For India in the VET sector, grant rates for offshore student visa applicants were an astonishing 0.9%. This is DHA effectively saying that offshore student visa applicants from these nations in the VET sector should mostly not bother applying. Given the reputation of many private VET colleges. But using the highly subjective tool of, genuine temporary entrant, for this purpose is inefficient and simply unsustainable. A much more rational approach is needed especially as in future Australia will need overseas students to undertake high-quality trade courses to add to their tradey workforce. Very few overseas students undertake quality trades courses at TAFEs and few TAFEs offer traditional trade courses to overseas students. Their student visa and skills recognition processes simply aren't suited to the purpose. As baby boomer tradies in Australia, and most other developed nations, retire over the next decade, Australia will need to find a way to meet its need for tradies. Even the large increase in funding for free TAFE courses as well as apprenticeships that have recently been announced are likely to be insufficient. Relatively few tradies will come to Australia through the recently announced larger migration program. Skilled migrants with traditional trade skills rarely make it into the top 15 occupations in the migration program. We hope you appreciate our efforts to provide important and accurate immigration information. Please share your feedback and suggestions in the comments section. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel, to show your support and yes don't forget to press the bell icon. Thank you for your valuable time, and we hope to see you again soon with another video. If you need any further assistance or want to discuss anything related to your immigration dreams, then you can book an expert consultation session with our team of registered migration consultants.